Okay, so here is the second part of the Thanksgiving Black Friday haul. This was a store that I stopped at on my way back from out of state. It's probably about, uh, maybe about a, a little bit over an hour from where I live. Probably like an hour and a half. So it's really not within distance where I would go just on a random day. But I do follow them on Facebook. And that's, if you're on Facebook, you should go on there to the local comic stores and turn your notifications on for when they post things so that you get notified of when they are posting now posting things because this the only reason I knew that they were having a sale is because of of that notification and that's how I find out a lot about a lot of sales like in uh, a couple videos ago when I found all those dollar books that was how I knew to go there because I don't go to that store regularly but they had posted something about a sale saw it figured take the trip and again this worked out for me this time these are the Amazing Spider-Man Del Auto connecting covers from the new, or not the newest now, from the, the reboot series. This is number 11 and 12. I believe I'm missing like maybe one more of them. So I got these. These are connecting covers. Really, really cool. I feel like these are really undervalued too. You can, I mean, they sell for 15 to 20 online because these are 1 to 25s. But I, I feel like they should sell for more. You know, being Amazing Spider-Man of 25 issues isn't too much for most stores. Unless you're a really small store. So there's probably a good amount of them out there. But I feel like these are really nice. Undervalued. I paid $4 each for those. And I'm almost complete on my cover set. Left the price on this guy. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7. Got that for four dollars. This was a fifty percent off sale, by the way. He had eight on it. Got it for four. He also had the Death of the Flash one, but it was pretty beat up. Uh, same price. I I don't know. I didn't I didn't want to get it just because of the grade it was in. This one, Deadpool number forty four, part one of the Cat Trap. Paid ten dollars for it. He had it priced at market value, twenty bucks. I probably wouldn't have got it except that I got the Black Panther one, which is part two. Um, got that for cover price uh, over the summer maybe so felt like I had to pick it up Deadpool Merc number 10 I got that just because I need it for trying to complete that run as well and that was two bucks really any of those Merc issues for two two three bucks definitely a good investment as well how about this one Miss Marvel number 16 I paid six dollars for that and it's not a great looking copy, but you just don't really see these anymore for less than about 25, 30 bucks, if you even find them at all. I mean, I really don't see them too often. It's definitely a wall book for most uh, conventions and, and shops. Six bucks, I'm not gonna pass that up. Now he had a couple of these, Iron Fist number 15, and I believe this was the best looking one that I could find, especially for the price. Only paid $9. It's pretty high grade, um, maybe like a, a VF, nine bucks, uh, Iron Fist X-Men crossover. And I believe, if, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be the last issue of the Iron Fist series. So it's got a couple things going for it. Didn't own it, definitely picking it up for that price. Another one I did not own, Marvel Team Up number one annual, Spider-Man and X-Men. Another high grade book. It's, this one's got the thick... The uh, square binding. The only issue that I really see major is got a, like a, a eighth inch tear at the top, and that may even be a production defect. I'm not sure, but I only paid five for that. An another twenty-five, thirty-dollar book that I see and I want, but I I never picked it up. And couldn't believe I found this in the the regular back issue boxes. I asked him if he had any variant boxes and. Then, uh, showed me to a couple, but I didn't really find anything. And this was in just with the regular issues. Mighty Avengers number three, the M and M variant. Really awesome book. Love this. Love this cover. Love the idea of it. I'm sure he got paid a boatload to do it. But uh, when this came out, it was going. I, I don't know what the ratio is, but it was going for 75, 100 when it came out. 
It's down to about maybe 40 to 50 now. I paid 25 for it. High grade. Couldn't, pick, couldn't pass that up. Couldn't pass this up either. Power Man number 49 for 250 You know, it's probably a, I don't know, maybe a fine. This book has been hot for a while, though. It's, it's part of the three-part arc where Power Man and Iron Fist join up and then later become the uh, the team, but Heroes for Hire. But, man, 250 Couldn't believe that. Here's one that I never got on the bandwagon for when it started to blow up, and I didn't have it from when it from back in the day. Solar number three, first Toyo Harada from the Harbinger Corporation. Paid twelve fifty for it. I think he had it priced at market uh, twenty five. It's probably about what it is now. We'll see if if Valiant is able to do anything with their with their movie stuff. Another another one I just couldn't pass up for the price. I already have this book, and this one is a little bit. I don't believe this is like a true white cover. Maybe it is, but I think it has that little bit of a, a yellow just when it originally came out. It's kind of like a newspaper. These uh, photo montage covers, I really like them. This is Submariner number 7. I paid $3 for it. I mean, it's a classic cover for 3 bucks all day long. X-Men 169, first Morlocks, 3 bucks. Black cover, tough tough cover and was happy to get that for that price Avengers number 87 origin of Black Panther T'Challa $20 I paid for that and it's in fairly decent shape um, I'm definitely gonna hold this for a little while till I saw him in the Civil War movie I'm gonna hold it for a little while till the uh, till his movie comes out in a couple years I mean this this book's definitely gonna be sought after and the final book that I got at this shop I was a little upset at what I had to pay for it because I had a copy of this that I got really cheap at one point. I found it like just on a whim. Hawkman number four, the first appearance of Zatanna. Like I said, I found it. Just happened to be looking through, and they must this the shop must have uh, restocked. I got it for like twenty thirty bucks. And it was in better condition than this. This thing is pretty bombed out. I believe the cover is attached, if I remember correctly. But it's got, like, severe water damage. And I, and I paid thirty-seven fifty for this. Yeah, didn't really want to do it, but I knew I would regret it in a couple years if I didn't at least... If I didn't have one back in my collection. Because I sold the one that I got really cheap. And I couldn't, at the time, I was like, I don't know what this thing's going to do. I'm just going to sell it and get my money and get out of it but uh, kind of regret that now so I don't want to didn't want to do that again so 3750 I don't I don't think you're gonna do much better than that maybe if you're lucky all right so that was all I got there next and final shop had a pretty sweet sale uh, lots of dollar books anything marks 999 and under was a dollar and they have a pretty extensive back issues, kind of, you know, with mo mostly modern stuff. Uh, found some decent stuff, though. Found some good stuff. Action Comics, five ninety five, first Silver Banshee. So, if these are more than a dollar, I'll tell you, but most of them are going to be a dollar. Action 600, the kind of, that's kind of an iconic cover, John Byrne, George Perez. And that's a square bound, and it's in really nice condition. I see people with trying to sell these eight ten twelve bucks I don't know if they ever sell for that much but that's typically the price I see them at and and you know at cons and stuff action 645 first Maxima 643 another classic George Perez cover swipe cover Batman 43 first bloom for a dollar 46 now I look I thought this one I haven't I'm not up to bloom yet in the story but I thought this one people were saying was this origin of bloom but I didn't I just flipped through it I didn't see anything so I'm not sure which issue that is Deadpool number one the newest Deadpool I figure why not for a dollar the cover sucks I think the covers pretty horrible uh, and then 
just let's just keep the Deadpool going because. For a dollar, I'm not going to pass stuff like this up. I think I did at one point and, uh, before when they had a sale. Deadpool Core. All these are uh, Life Out covers. He did this series. So I got, let's see, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Pretty cool covers. Lots of Lady Deadpool there. I picked up the Return of Living Deadpool series. Pick those up. Four bucks for that whole series. Okay. I got Killustrated 3 and 4. They did not have either of the other two. And let's see. Kills Deadpool number 3. Deadpool kills Deadpool. So, not bad on the Deadpool books for a dollar. They have pretty good stock of those. Galacta, Daughter of Galactus number one this book got, was doing pretty well for a little while i think just because people didn't really know about it and it wasn't out there it was selling for 20 to 30 at one point but it's probably down to like uh 10 bucks maybe on a good day i don't know that it really sells that well i heard this series was good the hood one through six number one is his first appearance of the hood uh this is, uh, what, Marvel, Max, one of the first Max series, like Alias, kind of the darker side stuff, like DC Vertigo. Had to pick this up, and I read it. I hate Fairyland number one for a dollar. I'm going to pick that up. It's a pretty interesting storyline. I like where it's going. I don't know if I'll keep reading it. If I get them for a dollar, I'll pick them up, but pretty cool. Uh, this one I hadn't seen until a couple months ago, Incredible Hulk versus Venom. It's just a one shot. It's got like a foil cover. Go, it sells pretty well actually. So I was glad to find that for a dollar. I had never, like I said, I hadn't been looking for it. And I got Future Imperfect number one. They did not have number two, at least for a good price. They had one in a different area for like 20% off, but I wasn't going to pay that. Didn't, didn't really want it that bad. Here's one you may want to keep an eye out for Imperium. This is number eight. But also, this is uh, cover A and B. This has Divinity in it, who, you know, has been a little pretty popular. Now, they did not have number seven, which I think is a little bit more sought-after issue. It's a two-part story arc, I believe, with... Um, I don't know if Imperium is the character. I'm not familiar with, with Valiant's newer stuff. But it's been... Um, it, it, supposedly, it's a really good little story arc, so people are picking it up, and I think people are liking Divinity, so... Keep an eye out for that one, 7 and 8 for sure, of Empyrean. Justice League of America number 0, J. Scott Campbell cover. I mean, that's a good book to pick up. It's, I, I don't see it too often. I was really happy to get it for that price. Also picked up Marvel Divas number 1 for a dollar. Marvel Tales number 236, an original Todd McFarlane cover, part of those uh, that little run that he did of all new covers. Masters of the Universe, the Star Comics, number one, for a dollar. All right. How about this one? Do you ever, you ever see this one? Spectacular Spider-Man, number 119. It's just kind of a cool cover of Sabretooth and the black costume Spider-Man. It, it can sell for a few bucks, it, only if it's in high grade, which is, I was lucky to find it's in high grade. Uncanny X-Force, number one. Yeah, pick that up for a dollar. Oh, also, I picked this out, Uncanny 317, and I was like, ah, I don't know. Is Blink going to do anything? It's never really got too hot, even though she was in that movie. Uh, I picked it out, I looked at it, and I thought, hey, I don't know. Then I looked, it just caught my eye. It's signed by Joe Madrera, Joe, Mad, Madre, Joe Madrera, who... I didn't realize he did X-Men. He's better known for maybe Battle Chasers. Maybe he's known for X-Men and then he went and did Battle Chasers. I don't know. Joe Mad. Alright, so... That was pretty cool find for a buck. Alright. Last little bit here that I got is... Amazing Spider-Man 569. I rarely see this thing let alone to find it at a half price sale. 
Got it for twenty dollars. Eddie Granov variant cover. First anti venom also, right? Pretty key book. Another Spider Man. I don't think I had this one yet either. I might have it. Amazing Spider Man seven hundred. Um, got that for I think it was a dollar. Maybe but maybe it was like four or five. Deadpool number one. I paid seven fifty for that. You know, this isn't the hottest Deadpool number one, but it still does uh still a fifteen dollar book. I found this one in the variant section, I'm not sure why. Like I said a couple videos ago, I've really kind of been keeping an eye out more for Hellboy and Goon stuff, just because I don't see it too often. This is Hellboy Seed of Destruction, which I believe is his origin story, right? This is origin story, this is number one. And paid twelve fifty four. I think that's a good price for sure. Um, you know, I don't know if I'd buy it for that, if that was a regular price or not, but since it was fifty percent off, I felt like I had to get it. New Avengers number seven, the Tron variant with Miss Marvel, paid three fifty for that. Looks like a Mark Brooks cover. Here's one definitely to keep an eye out for. I I can't believe this one was still in their variant box. Got it for half off. Superior Foes of Spider-Man, and I think this is a 1 in 25 variant, but I mean, how many stores are getting, this is issue number 1, so maybe maybe they did, but the Superior Foes of Spider-Man series, I mean, did anybody even read that? I don't, maybe people did, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's got this classic Mega Man cover, and I looked online, there's very few of them, maybe like 50 bucks each, I only paid 750 so... That one going in the collection for sure. Had to get this. Just a classic story. Didn't have it. Alan Moore, V for Vendetta. $5 for number one. And finally, a book that I've been looking for for a good price at a decent grade for a while. Because I think there's some potential here as well. Definitely definitely keep this one on your radar. It probably already is. Uh, Special Marvel Edition, number 15. First appearance of Shang-Chi. Master of Kung Fu, black cover, tough black cover, uh, you know, this, I got really, I got really lucky with this, I'll, I'll just say that, because like I said, I had been looking for it, I almost paid as much as I did for this one for a lot lower grade copies, only big issue is it's got a date stamp, and that's not really an issue to me, I don't care about date stamp, grading doesn't seem to really um, discount it too much, so really, I'm happy with this, I paid $40 for it. I mean, not going to beat that. If you can beat that, I'll buy it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, did a lot of dollar digging, obviously, since since this everything was on sale for a dollar. That's my favorite stuff. So thanks again for watching. Keep trolling those dollar boxes.